Uh, Twitch. You are such a twat. In case any of you on YouTube, this is the first time you're watching this. Twitch has this lovely thing where you get quality options sometimes. Which means that people can switch between the different quality to suit the internet connection. Uh, supposedly we're going affiliate gives you slightly more priority to that, but since everyone and their man are affiliate now, since it's piss easy, uh, that doesn't really mean anything. The uh, priority of the uh, quality slots still go to partners first, and that usually means if some esports thing is on, you don't really get it. And, uh, yeah. And the only way you can get quality options is at the start of your stream, which means that I usually get it, but sometimes I have to start and restart the stream 10 times or more before quality options kick in, which is fucking irritating. And that's, and sometimes I have to go, I have to go onto Twitch to check if the stream is, has quality options because there's no way for me, for me to see it without actually looking at the stream myself. And oftentimes when you turn it off, on and off like that a lot, uh, Twitch just refuses to recognize it's gone back up, which means that there's going to be a long time of me sitting there trying to fucking make the thing work. Hey, Lise. What's that, Blood Realm? I haven't heard of that. Anyway, we got to case three. Uh, <clears throat> I did a little bit of reading and reviews, spoiler free and, sh free and shit, and supposedly case two is the worst one. And case three, four are supposedly pretty good, and five is just a wrap up of everything. So I think we're in for a, a teat here, or treat if you prefer. The reason I'm starting it like this is every time you finish one, which we did yesterday with two, it starts up the second, uh, the, the one after it immediately, which is why it's saying that it'll override my file, even though I didn't play the other one. So I haven't played this before, it's blind still. <coughs> Yeah, it's because I stream in 60, Blood Man. There's, no, there's nothing to, like... I think Weenie and people like that uh, stream, in, uh, stream in 30, so you just get uh, 720p regular. I stream in 60, so... Okay, uh, let's start this. Yes. <sighs> Infamy. Also, I was saying, talking about calling it yesterday, that the daughter is probably Moriarty's daughter, since. But apparently, that's what the game before this deals with. So that might not be, a, that might not be a particularly smart thing because it might be very obvious in that one. Anyway. Father, Mr. Orson Wilde is here, and I'm going to stay with Miss Alice. What? Did you forget, Orson Wilde? He, you know. The star of American theatre. And he's visiting and staying with us. You did forget? No, no, not, not that. I, I meant you wanting to stay with Miss Alice. Yes, that's right. Miss Alice suggested it. She told me you couldn't possibly refuse. Oh, I see, blood man. Okay, so I'm going to think that it's going to railroad us regardless of what we do. Uh, last case, we found out that the lady across from the ass is actually has actually moved here to be close to Holmes, and she's taken interest in the daughter, and she's some sort of a contest. And we don't want our daughter over there, but she went over there anyway, and now she wants to go again. So even if we refuse, then you'll probably go over there anyway. So let's have a look. Uh, what do you think, men? Reluctantly accept, propose another solution, take offense, or refuse with a pretext. I'm gonna let the men decide this one. Also, I was wondering because tuberculosis is considered a tropical disease, at least from what I could read, so if we had spared Marsh in the first case and set him to sanatorium, we might actually have met him in the tropical diseases ward. I might be alright. Another solution, Cybert says, okay. Seems Why diplomatic. Didn't you stay with Mrs. Hudson? Oh, but Miss Caitlin has more in common with Miss Alice, and they get along so well. Guess what, Mrs. Hudson? Mr. Wilde is here to study my father's character for his next play. 
And he won't be disappointed, will he? Father is so pig-headed. Fuck you. I <laughs> nice. can't believe it. The great Sherlock Holmes Jesus. standing in front of me. I'm sure that our two brains will. Brains. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. What a man. Can we can we identify his ridiculous top hat? No, we cannot. If you look at this scarf though. Scarf follows fashion trends. Is that a fashion trend? Fucking hope not. A yank. American pride wants to attract attention. Did he have a yank accent? I think he did. Tobacco, British brand of tobacco, Holmes preferred brand. Hmm. Orson Wilde. Personalized boots, I guess. Oh, is he Oscar Wilde? Well, in that case. We don't have any comment on a scrotum. Pocket mirror, self-affected actor's tool. Well, that would fit with wants to attract attention then. Was Oscar Wilde born Oscar Wilde? Or maybe there is a uh, copyright thing so they can't use the proper name. Let's have a look. Oscar Wilde was also Irish, it seems. Just oh, fuck. Let's have a look. Get me to fucking Wikipedia, you pillock. No, I don't want to look at a picture of him. Are we happy with this? Oh, I see. Imprecise character portrait. <laughs> that will probably fuck us up later if we do that imprecisely, so I'm assuming it's the other crap ar uh, the way around. Usually don't. Well, it said imprecise, so I think... So I think one of the bits were probably... Yeah, just one of the things rather than both. I will ref refuse with a pretext today and... Miss Alice has visitors at night. I don't think it would be appropriate. Oh, Mr. Holmes, just you stop that now. I think that I would know if that were the case. Guess what, Mrs. Hudson? Mr. I see Wilde that we are railroaded re regardless. Character for his next and he won't be disappointed. I can't believe it. The great Sherlock Holmes standing in front of me. I'm sure that our two brains will. Brains. Right, so I'm thinking it was the, uh... I'm thinking it was this thing. It's probably American Pride. Which doesn't really fit with the tobacco, though. Well, he is an actor, but yeah, he seems to be wearing makeup, so that's fine. A 
Yeah, so this one is probably the attention thing then. And the other one was the actor's tool, so this this must be it. Imprecise fucking <laughs> Fucked it up again. Hey Pond. Well, yeah, he is American, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's American pride. It still draws attention. What's well, hiring, Adrian? I was hoping not to use guides, but uh, yeah, let's just get past this. I'm angry now. It's just, I'd like to have been informed. You'll have to get used to it, Mr. Holmes. Miss Caitlin is growing up. Guess what, Mrs. Hudson? Mr. What? And he won't. I can't. Brick. There we go. Orson Wilde, not yet 30 years of age, is a star of American theater who came to London to study the role of Sherlock Holmes. It's po probable that he began his study previously. He smokes the same brand of tobacco as Holmes. Orson is narcissistic, false fashion. He admires his own reflection. Brooch pinned to his chest displays his American pride. Okay, so all the fucking powder on his face was not applied with the... <laughs> Mr. Wilde? Your room. Charming. <laughs> this is such a fascinating city. We need to talk. I'd rather not. You're going to be angry again. Goodbye, Mr. Wilde. Is it five o'clock already? I think I might go and ask Mrs. Hudson for some tea. <laughs> Can I punch him? My name is Tabitha Fook. Uh, I'm one of the nurses who attend the inmates at Westgate Fern took care of Mr. Albeit, who asked me to write this after his death. He made furious right up to the end. He refused to ask for God forgiveness. He blamed you, Mr. Holmes, for breaking his will. That was sad to see. With respect, some lady. Oh, thank you, I guess. I suppose the reason we weren't allowed to touch that earlier was because it uh, had already been resolved. Find out more about man. What is he here? This thing looks so weird. Wear my festive attire. I know it's fucking suspenders dangling there. The doctor did that as well the, the other day. Rang us up and was all like, fuck you. You think he's hiding in my wardrobe? <laughs> my archive. Bowler hat was the doctor thing, wasn't it? Ah, oh, Wilde's already making himself at home. The Truly has a perfect disguise kit. Do actors really need all this? This must be grease paint. <laughs> oh, face powder of an excellent quality. Fuck's sake, Holmes.
I use the same brushes for makeup. I forgot my hat. Father? I am just checking, um... You've got something on your face. Is it makeup? Uh, okay. It uh, might be. i uh, practicing my disguises. You know me. No, don't, don't touch that! No, no! Ah, Mrs. Hudson, with our tea. Not quite. We have a visitor. However, the lady is not so much angry as perplexed. Good day to you, gentlemen. My name is Mary Sutherland. I have come to you, Mr. Holmes, because I would give everything I have to know what has become of Mr. Hosmer Angel. Why the haste, Miss Sutherland? Mr. Hosmer Angel has disappeared, and my father, Mr. Winterbank, will do nothing. It makes me so angry. You wore your glasses wrong, I see. Doesn't look that flashy. Mm. Looks more like an heirloom, maybe. Mismatching shoes. No reading. Family heirloom. What was the opposite for this? She's not flashy. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Mary Sutherland is a good tempered young lady of 25 years age. She has poor eyesight. She has failed to notice she's wearing mismatched boots. Mary is a wealthy young lady. Her Ring is a family heirloom. Well, obviously not. Mr. Windybank is your stepfather, surely, since the name is different? Well, indeed, I call him father, although he is barely older than myself. And your mother is alive? Oh, yes. Although I wasn't best pleased when she married again, and so soon after father's death, and to a man so much younger than herself. What is your connection with Mr. Hosmer Angel? I met him at the Gasfitter's Ball. Mr. Winderbank did not wish for me and Mother to attend. He never did wish us to go anywhere, but this time I was quite set on it. Fortunately, he left for France upon some business, and so didn't have any say in it. And I met Mr. Angel that night. We met again after that and would take walks together, but then Father returned, and we could no longer meet. Suppose it was flashy then. Even though this thing looks very, very ass. I guess she's not rich then. Uh, fucking mutual exclusive crap. Do you have your own income? I do, from an inheritance. It was left to me by my Uncle Ned in Auckland. Then you have all that you could wish for, naturally. Well, I live at home and don't wish to be a burden to my family, so they have the use of the money. Yeah, but the thing said not married. Or married, not that it, whether or not it was engagement or not, and the, the game tends to be quite ass with that. No, uh, no oogling guides, Adrian, please. Why was your stepfather against your going anywhere? Well, he didn't like anything of that sort. He used to say that a woman should be happy in her own family circle. That's weird. Did Mr. Hosmer Angel make no attempt to see you? Well, Father was going off again in a week. And Hosmer wrote and said that it would be better for us not to see each other until Father had gone. After that, he stopped writing. Where does Mr. Angel live? I don't know exactly. I address all of his letters to the Leadenhall Street Post Office for collection. Leadenhall. Were you engaged? Oh yes, Mr. Holmes. 
right after the first walk that we took. Is there anything else that you can tell me about Mr. Angel? He is a very shy man. He would rather walk with me in the evening, so as to be discreet. Married. I put a missing persons notice in last Saturday's Chronicle. Here's a copy, and a letter from him. Ha <laughs> ha, a love letter. Hmm, yes, I see. As I anticipated, this validates my deductions perfectly. What deductions, Mr... Mr. Wilde. Holmes, tell her. Fuck you. A love letter? Aren't you dying? Read the newspaper instead, man. Probably knows its weird name. Mr. Holzman Angel is mysteriously vanished. Mr. Angel is of around 5 feet 7 inches of height with fuck, uh, strong build with shallow complexion. He's black haired with bushy wide whiskers and a moustache. He is likely to be wearing tinted spectacles. On the last sighting, Mr. Angel was dressed in a black silk frock coat with a black waistcoat and grey Harris tweed trousers. It's known to have been employed in the office of Fingy Street. If you're in possession of any information, please come forward. There'll be reward. Spectacles, eh? I bet it's her pretending to be this man. My dear love, please don't worry about your sweet head. Do you believe that I would say anything to your family who understand nothing of love? We have a wonderful time together. Had a wonderful time together, didn't we? While your father was in France, such a short time, but it was enough for me to know that you are my life. I want to spend every minute uh, from now on with you. I wish that it were possible. I love you very much. And well, Ampers and I'm waiting for the moment when your stepfather leaves once more for his travel so we can meet again. Fucking shorthand. This is strange. The love letter is typewritten. Am I talenting this? Good quality paper, quite smooth. Fairly common ink, nothing special. I'm waiting for the moment when your stepfather leaves once more. We had a wonderful time together, didn't we, while your father was in France? Miss Sutherland only met with Hosmer Angel while the stepfather was absent. Hosmer Angel decided not to leave his signature. Let's study this letter more closely. There are some letters with typographical defects. Miss Sutherland, do you have any other letters from Mr. Angel? Unfortunately not. But I've brought my father's letter from Paris. Here it is. The stepfather's letter is also typewritten. Dear Mary, I'm taking the opportunity of sending you these few lines and hope that you find you and your mother in good health. Fucking ampersand down there again. And again, fucking ampersand. Uh, there are rouges who deceive and mistreat their women. Now, uh, men nowadays are so dishonorable, they won't think twice to break your heart. I hope that you will be an obedient girl and look after your mother, and that you will take my advice, stay at home, I'll be back before long. Quite common paper with a light yellow tint. Piss. Fairly common ink, nothing special. Miss Sutherland's stepfather's signature. Mm, I hope that you'll be an obedient girl. Mm, take my advice, stay at home. The stepfather is trying to keep the daughter at home. Let's study this letter more closely. There are some letters with typographical defects. Both letters have typographical defects. They merit further attention. This letter has a defect. Ah, it's the same letter with the same defect in both instances. One more letter with a defect. Another letter match with the same defects. One more letter with a defect. 
Find me a K. Need a K. There. Another letter match with the same defects. So, based on the specific defects, we could say that these letters were composed on the same typewriter. Fuck's sake. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck, no. Stop fucking around. There we go. Now, nah, Love Lotus was better. For some reason, met with Mary. Only one of the was <laughs> Yes. Socialize without stepfather's knowledge. Bleep. Poor, poor eyesight. That's what the same typewriter defects written by one person on a single typewriter. Coincidence. Family uh, have an interest in Mary remaining single, so have access to her inheritance. Mary and her stepfather. There we go. He didn't take his business trip, found out. Uh. Are they the same dude, you think? Sounds like it. What's the option here? Act if we put him actually away, what's the other option? A crook. Mr. the thing that we can see her crook who hired uh, to keep stead daughter and her money close at home <coughs> this could also be that uh, be what's going on but that wouldn't fit with the same typewriter have the same nose I talk shit you should try to let mr. Hosmer angel vanish from your memory as he has done from your life then you don't think I'll see him again I fear not then what has happened to him your stepfather married your mother for her money, and also enjoyed the use of your income. But with your personal advantages, it was clear that you would not remain single for long, even with him keeping you at home. He disguised himself and reappeared as Mr. Hosmer Angel. He brought you as far as the church door, and then conveniently slipped away. To bring you to this conclusion in such a dramatic manner that it would leave a permanent impression upon your mind. You have been cruelly tricked, Miss Sutherland. Oh, Mr. Holmes. No, I, I, I can't believe it. But we were engaged. Oh, it's horrible to think about. But thank you for all you have done, Mr. Holmes. Holmes. NP, lol. You could have been more diplomatic. <laughs> Master Detective. Dr. Ass at night in the monastery. What is going on? Oh, oh, oh. 
Toby, you look worse for wear. Mr. Holmes, is everything all right? Oh, my God. Go back to your flat and stay there with Kate. Calm down, Toby. Now, let's see what this contains. Mm. Wave, wave. Am I going to get bombed here? It's ticking. Nice. See what the bomb is like. I see wires inside. They could be connected to the cover. Nice. Throw it out in the street. A and fancy mate. ticking homemade gift from a secret admirer. I have two minutes to defuse it. Mm -hmm. A source of electricity for the detonation. Mm -hmm. A package with explosive material. There are wires going in and out. It's useless to predict how they might be tangled up inside. Aha! This solenoid protects the bomb from being easily diffused. If it loses its power supply, it will close contact between the secondary chain wires and the bomb will explode. There are wires attached to the bell and hammer. When the alarm triggers, the bomb will explode. Put a thing in between. Well, fuck then. Whew. Get fucked. <laughs> Sorted, right? Snippy snippy. Yeah, I had too much experience with this sort of shit on Titanic. <laughs> what happened? Just a small bomb. Somebody wants to kill me? What for? I don't believe that you were the target. Who then? Mr. Holmes, are you all right? I saw the bloke. I tried to catch him, but he escaped. Can you describe the man? Uh, he was thin, about 5'5", five five, with black hair and a hair lip. Hair lip? Wiggins, tell us everything you saw. The fellow was watching your place, so I thought maybe he's a client. But then he took something out of his jacket and threw it, smashing your window. I shouted at him and he took off. I grabbed him by the sleeve, but he wriggled out of his jacket and left it. I'm sorry I didn't catch you, Mr. Holmes. You did very well, Wiggins. Now, let's I like take a look at that jacket. He's all right. Here it is. Good job, Wiggins. Here's a penny. Oh, thanks, Mr. Holmes. Watson's been killed. Who tried to kill me, Mr. Holmes? Shut it. Thanks to Wilde, my analysis table has been completely destroyed. Good job, Toby. Barks that bomb. Well, I'm going to get dressed properly before we end up. Where's the fuck? That's my casual suit. Yeah, boy. Matt Jones, indeed. T are the owner's initials. Let's see what's inside. Mm. There could be a hidden message that's been written with some lemon juice. No, don't touch anything else. 
asshole. Holmes is very lenient to this knob. I'd have binned him long there ago. There are ink stains on this piece of paper. I could read the text with the help of my analysis table if Wilde hadn't already destroyed it. Really, Mohawks, bring out your axes and tell King Jorge that I will pay no taxes on his foreign tea. He tr his threats are vain and vain to think to force our girls and wives to drink his vile boohoo. Then rally, boys, and hasten to meet our chiefs at the Green Dragon poem. A poem? But what does it mean? This isn't a poem. It's a song called Rally Mohawks. That great moment when America rebelled against England's dominance. Then rally, boys, and hasten on to meet our chiefs at the Green Dragon. And I'd bet they hoisted a tankard of ale and invented a new nation. Along with deciding if this was the week they got to dump some tea into Yon Harbor. <laughs> Why ever did he keep such a song in his pocket? Maybe Green Dragon is his tavern? Now nah, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna turn out that we are actually wild. I think he's a cunt. Map? A map of London. Ah, oh, yes. Riley? No. That's not that, that's not the one I thought it was art. Weird. What uh, what? <laughs> the royal potato cans, nice. That's not the one I need. That's not the one. I That's not the one I need. Damn it! I would have thought it was in history, but I didn't see it. Oh, it's in history. Oh, okay. I, no, I went not like an idiot. Good man. Public house used by a tavern and meeting place located on the Onion Street in Boston's North End. In the early 19th century, a number of replicas of the Green Dragon were opened across Europe. Once now located in Nodnall, near the harbor, district of White Capital. Nice. Here it is. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, That's all I can do for now. Let's try and get a few hours of sleep. How can you sleep when there is someone trying to kill me? How selfish. I would have told this guy to fuck right off. Holmes is very lenient in this. NP Rumpus is lovely guest to have regardless. You had great, great hard work. What are them? <laughs> He's so funny. Pile drive out window. Wait, the Toby had you a hat. Speak well, Kate. Very well, thank you, Father. Is that wild? Whatever is he doing now? He's transforming you into a legend. 
Oh, silly man. Kate, what's the matter? Well, I just came by to tell you that I'm going to the zoo with Alice. We'll be having lunch in town. I'm thinking of that bomb. It probably had a timer so that... Also, why did he throw it through the thing? I'm assuming the timer was either to give Holmes time to disarm it or or just give him time to come in and look at it. I've hardly seen you these past yeah, few no, days. It's... Don't you want to stay here for a while, Kate? Did you remember then? <sighs> it's my birthday today! I'm so sorry, Kate. With Wilde's visit, I... Look, here's some spending money. Go and treat yourself to a, a thing. All right. I'll go then. Kate. You never do anything right. All right, all right. Come here. I've had enough of you not caring about me. I hate I you. I care. I've just had a, a difficult night. Yes. Alice told me about the bomb, but you wouldn't. Kate, I... I only want to protect you. You don't understand anything. I wish Alice would adopt me. Don't be ridiculous. I don't know why my parents entrusted me to you. Did they really know you? Kate, <laughs> come back. Yeah. Damn it. Such a waste. This Alice, I have an odd sense about her. It's as if she's playing with Kate's feelings. This would be a good opportunity to investigate Alice's flat while they're absent. Yeah. And anyway, it'd be better to visit the Green Dragon Tavern during the evening. Oh my, I see you and Kate are best friends already. Thanks to Wild, my analysis table has been completely destroyed. Mm -hmm. oh, she's on the other side, isn't she? Have a look in here first. Yeah. You fucking will the uh, pile drive out the window. Toby's a fine man. Ali up. Lock picking mini game. I kind of like this one. Yes. Okay, so up and a thingy for a ones. Oh yes. And a three and a four instead of the one. I can't move. Ugh. I can't move that one while the other one's in. Boo. Yeah, let me select the other lockpick. Let me select the other lockpick, you fuck. Nice, yes, that's good. Now let me do, there we go. <laughs> Most advanced lock in the world. Wait, Holmes doesn't have a toilet, does he? A soothing drug to aid sleep. Kitty, yes? Mail? Mail? Meow, meow, meow. It has no smell. Are we gonna die drinking this? Let's try dr die drinking it. I'll try some of this poison you have. Kitty. Uh, it has a bitter taste. No smell, a bit of taste. It's a tincture of barbiturate. Kitty. Alice prepared a gift for Kate. 
He remembered her birthday. Kitty, don't lose. Come here. Come up here. Come on. Kitty. Kitty, don't don't lose. No, it kid. appears that Alice sleeps in this armchair, as uncomfortable as that must be. But poor Quee. The fuck? It looks as though Alice has not slept here for a long time. Pearls are falling off the thing. A photograph cylinder. He's gonna steal this. No one ever cares when I steal for Kitty. Go to the dials. Tire path. Maze. Auto. Uh, plot the entire path through the maze. Oh, I see. I want to hammer up, but keep her. I want to lose that through. So, this one is likely a dead, a died end. Nice. Yeah, I like locks that are puzzles, so it's not whether or not you're supposed to be in there, it's just whether or not you can figure out the puzzle. My dear little Alice, if you read this letter in the meantime, no longer in this world, and that my illness has defeated me, please try not to be sad, dear, for I have lived a good life. My only regret is that you are now alone, and you will be sent to live with who knows who. I'm unknown, an unknown family. I do not thrust the institutions who behave so cruelly towards your father. Please, uh... But please take courage, my dear angel. You know the secret which allow you to speak with the souls of the died. Nah, this is bullshit, Alice's isn't it? Alice's childhood was spent with her aunt until the aunt's death. Kitty, don't pollute. Just steal this. Dear Alice, thinking of you now has made me remember the past. And as you well know, I'm always a warrior. Every time that you were sent to live with yet another... Uh, Kitty. Family, I hope you would be happy. Kid it, fuck. Kid it, don't pollute. People are cool, aren't they? It angers me to think of you so miserable in every home. Uh, to be considered more than as a servant rather than a member of the family, you suffered so much. But I am happy now to congratulate you on your 21st birthday. Now all the horrors are behind you. You are a grown and independent and beautiful woman. I wish you... The life you deserve with all the happiness possible. Alice was unhappy with all of her adopted families. <clears throat> he wakes early despite the fact that the lamp in his room glows to small hours. He provides a street urchin with work. I believe the boy's name is Ender. His friend, uh, Dr. Watson, is always nearby. They seem very close. He is respected by Inspector Lestrade, though he never works with the police. Kate is so sweet and honest and naive, but Mr. Holmes doesn't spend much time with her. She's spying on me. Get it. We established that in the previous thing, Holmes. Come down, mate. Dear Miss, thank you. Kitty. <laughs> this is the butt. Dear Miss, thank you for the most recent delivery of shirts for my cousin. They are marvelous. I told you this Saturday I shall be attending his wedding breakfast of my dear friends. And I'll look stunning. Please be sure to finish my dress by Friday at the latest. I'll send for it in the morning. Alice has recently used this. Pretty big, this place. Fireplace, also. Full of shit. Spiritualism and physical research. Strange taste in literature. Is that all you had to say? Can't open it or fuck around with it. No, it's green, so he's done with it. Sarah de Bouvier is Alice's mother. I forget who she was. I remember that name. Maybe it was just. Hmm. Dear Mrs. de Bouillon, I wanted to inform you that your rental contract has 
been uh, prepared. You can come to collect it whenever convenient. Any evening of the week. Mrs. Hudson. Stop stealing things. Sherlock. Her full name is Alice Floella Hamilton. Alice used her mother's name to lease the flat. Leaving candles and shit on. I too would beat up a mirror that doesn't Kate show my reflection. Bit decrepit this place. Yeah, Adrian. Well done, Holmes. Fucking music. Well, he looks to have the Innsmouth look. What a weird flat. Spectacles and things thrown everywhere. That's out, I assume. This lock is quite new. Well, we have the key for it, don't we? It's got that logo on it as well that the letter had, I think. Was it the letter? There was something that had a thing on it. Oh my god. Your god. Holmes, are you. What? You subscribe to that shit. The wheelchair is the same as the one in the photograph above. Louis Napoleon Bonaparte. Charles Darwin, English naturalist and geologist. Nigel Grade. What does it say? Johnny Minona. Abraham Lincoln. Take some fucking pictures of the died. My word, look at this setup. Alice practices spiritualism. We're not looking at these things then. Katie, I cannot see the I cannot see the screen if you're in front of it. <laughs> My distant ancestor, Horace Vernon. William Hamilton. William Hamilton. But I know him. He was a bandit who I arrested 20 years ago. Nonsense. Alice knows about Zacharias Greystoke, the victim from the bowling club. I solved that crime. <laughs> Mass suicide leaves 27 dead at Ceuta, Spain. The bodies of 27 people, including four children, were discovered in Ciuta, Spain. The deceased, who were members of the Veneration of the Dead, had consumed a soft drink laced with deadly cyanide and sedatives. Uh, police were only able to save one young woman, Alice Fluella Hamilton. The lady, who was unharmed, yet in deep shock, remained unable to shed any light on this sad case. Weirdos. We 
heard that one. Alice knows about Zachariah. What? Alice knows about the fuck. Fucking Hamilton. Alice is talking with her father, William Hamilton. I finished here, time to go. Father William Hamilton. Wasn't that the guy we in investigated? Or was that William Shatner? I swear that William Hamilton was one of the dead dudes. Oh, that guy, yes, of course. Okay, that Hamilton. What, what was, yeah, the other guy was Harrington, yes. You are correct. Got any more bees? Looks like Sherlock Holmes reported isn't noticed. As a, oh, that, okay, I see. Let's go home and fuck around with that. Disguise yourself as a bandit. Damn it, Holmes. This place is a fire hazard. Hey, Terry. How was the Norwegian? Did you sample it? What's that fucking growling? I see that I don't have to put on any sort of wardrobe to be a bandit. It's all about the facial hair apparently. No fro. Oh, it's mate uh, having a nap. Uh, failed escape from Newgate Prison. Four prisoners crawled through a narrow drainage pipe to escape from Newgate Prison to London. It was a well planned day operation, but ultimately unsuccessful. Thanks to the fact that the police force, two of the prisoners were killed. Many men were sent back to prison. One of the dead prisoners was a prior crime lo criminal lord of Lodnell, William Hamilton. Hamilton. It is already known William Hamilton was arrested, thing he done Scotland Yard in this operation under charge of Inspector Leedstrad. During the investigation, major role played by the consulting detective, Schlock Holmes. After the arrest, and due to his wife being deceased, Hamilton's young daughter was sent to live with her aunt. Dun dun dun. Here it is. No fro.
dog snores. I'm gonna go down and yell at the man pretending to be me down there. Possibly clock him. Right, and here's man minge. Wiggins. What can I do for you, Mr. Holmes? The golden cock. The death of the co of a cock has resulted in two murders. The uh, ensuing altercation led to Dick Merman, the gentleman accused of killing a aforementioned feathered fellow, receiving a fatal knife wound, and his father, who came running to his assistant, being beaten to death. The Dubois brothers, two men, responsible for these terrible murders, have since been locked away as got Dumbest shit I've ever heard. Holmes is just too okay with stuff happening in this. Like, I would have kicked that dude out and not had kid over at the lady but he's all like oh well all i can do is talk i have to be careful in this den of iniquity no you don't come on bobby push back or short hey, you flat cap punch Oh, good right, your, your bottom. Come on, Bobby, push back. Hey, you, shut up. Well done, Top Bobby. Son, Adam. What's the uh, problem there, Leachie? I suspect boat sex uh, boat sex in here. We hello fellow scoundrel. A small shove would send you neatly into the slop. Mm. Mm. I like the cut of that man's giblets. I should be quiet so that I can listen to what people are saying. Let's here to celebrate. <laughs> sort of. Piece off, Danvers. Am I standing on him? Not quite. Let's celebrate. <laughs> I will lounge. an illegal gambling den here. Let's celebrate. <laughs> My ear earrings go closer to the hearings of the matings. Good beer. Strong. Oi, druggies. Hmm. I'll drink tip, perhaps yeah, I should try. <laughs> Right, let's. There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. Scotland Yard, dogs! There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. Let's sell Get lost. <laughs> Cheers! I can hear nothing from here. Yeah, just look at him going in, sort of squatting in various places. about this right now. Is that the short dude? But he had whiskers, I think, and a hair thing. Did he have a lip, that guy? Interesting. They have some kind of pass for getting this. I need a refill! <laughs> Drink, just forget the old drink. <laughs> yeah. Scotland Yard dogs. Want a beer? Want a beer? Answer the man, Holmes, and fuck. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Cheers. There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. Are you not done hearing shit? 
Not even me, Farrell. Hey, Mug Hunter, what do you think you're doing? Get out of here! The fuck's a Mug Hunter, you knob? <laughs> And then. Um, I see. Yeah, this isn't Lip Harris. The man with a head. What, Batman? I drink to forget that I drink. Bottoms up. Scotland Yard Dogs. Don't tell me I have to arm wrestle to get upstairs. Let's celebrate. <laughs> I don't want to click a lot. Hey, what are you looking for? Get lost. Smart. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Maybe. Bottoms up. My bum's in the air. I need to Get out of here. Get out of here! <laughs> that flask is. Look at that bottle. Blah, blah. I drink to forget that I drink. <laughs> Bottoms up. Seem to drink to forget that you've used that joke before. Hmm. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Combat roll, Holmes. Oh fuck, I can't believe I've done this. Pour me a double. I'm going outside for a cigarette. Am I gonna have to fight this dude for his, his thing? Yeah, we're doing the gra the, the, the fucking groundhogger. Oh, boys, you're so warm. He has a pass. He could steal it to gain entry. Okay, let's just charge him and bin him. Fuck you, mate. I'm here to touch your bum. They call me Bum Toucher. Fucking Teleka Neat, Teleka, Teleka, Teleka Holmes. I put the thing back so he doesn't know. Oh, fuck. Shit, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You can get in. Let's celebrate. <laughs> I'm allowed it. Kitty, Cheers. Kitty where are you Bottoms going? Up. <laughs> so like on the floor. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Kitty, I cannot if your tail's there. I do to forget the other trees. <laughs> Outsider. Kitty, don't slap the computer with your tail. Oh, nice. We see this guy from the other side, but... Is the boss at his place? Yeah, he's waiting for you. Send the most distinctive man we have to throw something. A man. I should find a way to follow him. Usually walking towards where he went. The door no. to the gambling room is there. I gotta win the gambling... down here maybe this place actually has a toilet Let's celebrate. <laughs> sometimes there are holes in the world Cheers. I need a <laughs> 
like over here in the corner yeah there I'm here to wear flat caps and lose all my money now we're loading for some reason oh someone left their game luck is on my side get out for a shilling bowling they call me ah it's my lucky day fucking monopoly it's snappy think faster luck is on my side wonder if th that guy there has a trademark you laugh loser. Hey, what do you think I you're doing? The money. I have to get across to the other side. Perhaps from there I can reach the guarded area. I have to create Only a diversion that will move I the guard away from the, the door. Money. Who are you looking at? They allow knives here. A well cared for hat. Okay. Ah, it's my lucky day. Forward. Is it snappy? Think fast. Hey, what do you think side. you're doing? That's private. Gamble or you get loser. out. Man's volume is Holy loud and shit. I can smell the money. What are you looking at? Get out for a shilling. Like it's snappy. Diversion. Yeah, I'm gonna win. I guess so. Luck is on my side. Get out for a shilling. Holy. You loser. No, that's all right. My home sense. He uses the extra cards to cheat. A button for a mechanism. He uses a mirror to look at the cards during the deal. This is a holdout that deals extra cards. The rope leads from one sleeve to the other. If the rope's cut, it'll release the hidden cards and expose his trick. That's what I'll need to do for the guys on my then side. I can get outside. Get out for a shilling. Let's get the knife on, I guess. Ah, it's my lucky day. Fools are snappy. Think faster. Luck is on my side. You loser. All in. I can smell the money. What are you looking at? Get out for a shilling. Yes. Look at snappy. You loser. Business. You loser. Let's hope he has a rope there and it isn't his insulin pump. Hey, you next. <laughs> what a shit guard. I have to try and go around. I hate this minigame. Let's try and fall. Oh, I just that. I was hoping to see something fine. It's a very long fight in there. Fights usually don't last that long. What's the meaning, unit? Uh, 
Okay, he turns on his own. I guess it's this way. That's a large pile of shit. That, that's one of those Globbers from uh, Revelations 1. No, no, I guess not. A non-idiot would probably be able to climb from up here. Oh dear god, no. Well, gonna create a double swing here, I guess. Or we're we gonna pick up crates. This mini game. We 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 we. Man waits until all momentum is gone before he lets me control again. Fuck you, Holmes. Dynamic action! I'd laugh my ass off if you just fell straight through. No one makes move this solid. Now you're in so you can get killed normally. They only left this room recently. Never invention for hiding gambling items in the event of a police raid. Hey, the hammer. Here's the accounting of October. Thing, pack of cards, lost win, lost win, thingy, money. It's all money. The hammer. Jack Cole, I remember him from the raid two years ago. Weird ass key. Doesn't look like a key from an ordinary door. Betting I could hide in that spot that I can't find now. The man from the gambling room is the same card cheating accessory. The man? I want to steal it. The ace of spades. Oh, he had something to say. Didn't hear it. Yeah, what a weirdo. A crack. There might be something behind the cupboard. Let's wait. Want to get some more shit? I see I can interact with crap over here, can I? It's a corner peak. It's probably just where we leave, I guess. Hey, hammer. The hammer. Close the door after you, you idiot. Damn, I'm late. No. It's evident that all of these items were stolen by Jack Cole's gang. <laughs> it's the suitcase belonging to that fellow with the hair lip. Can disarm another bomb? Guess not. Oh shit. After moving into our new home. <coughs> oh, there we go. Our man, most likely with his family. I thought the hair lip was 12 or something. No doubt these things were stolen. Kettlebell, thingy, thingy, thingy. But this pawn shop. This fellow pawned his belongings. He must be in great need of money. 
butler's pawn shop in Lambert Street. He apparently lives near this pawn shop. What's going on in there? How do you figure out he owned there? Uh, lived near there? Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't really. <laughs> to meet Jack Cole for you. Yeah, okay. Wait, can we actually conclude that he's just the nicest man in the world? Trip? Fuck's sake. Yeah. Let me in there for fucks. There we go. Indeed, lucky dong dong bolo. Oh, he's losing health. Nice. Would you look at this barrel? Hmm. How lovely. I watch him get fucked. Not much happening in there. He just restarts. I didn't get to see him get fucked. Oh god damn it. I need to save also quickly. I'll kill you! Not him! The other dude, for fuck's sake. Oh, is it just plain all wrong to take the thing? Holmes! You sneaky bastard, I'll kill you! Fucking music. Oh, he's just the wrong order then. Trial and error. No idea what I just did. Yeah, that doesn't work. Holmes, you sneaky bastard, I'll kill you! Yeah. I can do two things there. That was too late now, for fuck's sake. 
So apparently I selected something else Holmes, before. Sneaky bastard, I'll kill you. Uh, we have options with some of these sometimes, I think. We don't have much time to actually read what it says. The guy just falls over on his own, I guess. Of course, that'll work. Trial and error. Much worse yesterday, Alicia. Who are you? You, you are Alice, yeah? Listen, Holmes suspects something. What are you talking about? You must be more discreet. Your little game with his daughter. No, no, no! Too soft, Holmes. But you are Mr. Holmes. <sighs> Why on earth? You see, she recognized you. I expected it. You must live the character. You see, now you go upstairs right away or I will drive you back to that pub. Understood? And there you are. You've got it. I... Uh, <laughs> all right. But seriously, you should take acting classes. I don't care I if we saw this wrong. I want him father. dead. You moved into my building. You've spied on me. And now you prepare your revenge through my own daughter. Don't be such a fool. I adore your daughter. You see conspiracies in everything. I have good reason to. Perhaps you forget what I do for a living. How I pity you. You mistake sincerity for dishonesty. Do you dare tell me that your presence here is accidental? Obviously not. When the opportunity arose for me to meet you, then I came. But not with hatred, rather more with fascination. I had hoped to learn something about my father from you. Some answers as to my identity. When, strangely enough, I find that you yourself are a riddle, even to your own daughter. You shouldn't have involved my daughter in your sick problems. You're only confusing her. It's over. She doesn't know it yet, but I'll be leaving soon. I've finished my business here, and you will never hear from me again. Good. But you better speak to me directly. No being furtive. I had no idea that you could show such a high level of indulgence towards the children of criminals. You. I'm going, please, I beg you, do not spoil my last moments with Caitlin. Ugh. Shank her. Fucking. Mm hmm. Wait, what's that again? Uh, thingy to Jack the Hammer Cole. Ugh. Fuck you. <laughs> it's a good thing that I came to help you at the tavern, Holmes. Actually, I would far rather you stop helping me. Recently, well known private detective, Sherlock Holmes, collaboration with Scotland Yard, carried out a raid in London's most dangerous and affluent. Uh, street mobs, the Westminster gang. Regrettably, as usual, the police attempt to, uh, failed to operate smoothly during the raid. One innocent person was gave injured, the man that entered revealed as Hagen Cole, apparently being the brother of a villain Jack Cole. Doctors are fighting for his life, but with little hope of success. Police did manage to arrest three of the gang members, but the leader, Jack Cole, was later released due to lack of solid evidence. 
And he said that the gang has strong political connections with certain influential people, including judges, politicians, and police officials. That true justice fears nothing, or is that no longer the case? Here it is. Don't think I have any more brain nodes now. It often blinks when I have more brain nodes. I got one injury. I'm still wanting to be disguised, for fuck's sake. Let's go to the street thing before we go to, uh, before we go to, uh, what's it called? Ask us rather to ask him. Wiggle wiggle. Man is perpetually stuck in an animation without the objects in his hand that he needs. A suspect with his family near their house. Why did the camera just ass up there. Let's look for that. Ugh. Let's look for that. Yeah, that this seems to be it. It's got the lamp. Not over there, you fucking idiot. It's because I'm not using third person mode, so it's being weird. Not allowed, I guess. Gnurlock Holmes, yes. Camera flies up into shit. It's there, it's right there. What sort of fucking angle do I need to... Now it looks up into the sky again. Okay, so if I look here, maybe you'll put it up properly. Nope. This is obviously the place, but I guess... Good day to you, madam. Good day, sir. Fuck she wearing. Making food for more people, I see. I think this lady might be religious. She doesn't have the thing up here that the other lady had. But can't we assume that some people have glasses that fit? What are we going to think here? Jemima's mother. Jemima's mother is a British woman of middle age. She lives a quiet life, seldom venturing outside. Uh, her home contains religious uh, pictures and symbols. She's short sighted and wears spectacles with strong lenders. Four character points. What the fuck is Jemima? Sister, I carry with me the word of God and I try my best to help lost souls find the light. 
May we speak inside? Yes, Father, please, do come in. I'll make you a nice cup of tea. My name is Margaret Thorne. It is an honor that God sent you to me. Let him pee, mate. You appear grieved, sister. It is my son, Jeremiah. I fear that he is doing bad things, Father. How bad? I don't know. He has just become nervous and angry and rude. And he used to be such a nice boy. These days, he won't spend any time at all with us. Not even with Janet, his younger sister. He hides himself away inside his room and locks the door. And he won't open it for anyone. <laughs> you can kind of see the seam where Sir Holmes is wearing his bald cap. But then again, she has one of those as well. So I don't know. And where is your son? I don't know where he is. He hasn't come back from last night. I'm so worried. Perhaps his absence is connected with his job. Where does he work? I don't know if he has a job, Father. I've asked him several times, but he just gets angry and won't speak. Perhaps Jeremiah is being poorly influenced by his friends. I wouldn't know. He never mentions any friends. I am afraid that he could be possessed by the devil himself. He's changed so drastically lately. He won't tell me anything and he flies into rages and shouts at me. I don't know what to do. Don't distress yourself, sister. You were right to confess. Truly, I... I can feel an evil presence in this apartment. Oh, God! Allow me to search for the demon in this house. God bless you, Father. But first, I must to my church to collect the things I'll need for the exorcism. I shall return shortly. Very well, Father. Uh... Why will I have to return? Task for Wiggins. Oh, I see. Gotta go get Wiggins. Can't look around I before. I can't enter while Jeremiah's mother is here. Oh, Father, please help us. Kind sir. Well, let's go get Higgins then. <laughs> Got itself another thing in the thing it says. Not many people left considering we have two cases left after this one. on its own. One of that's relevant. Not a word. Into your clothes. What's he talking about? Hey, Rainus. My name is Sherlock Holmes. It is my business to know what other people... You see, but you do not observe. Seriously, you should take acting lessons. You're dreadful. Fuck you. Wiggins, could you come up, please? Well, that's, uh, useful. Wiggins, an exorcism. Protocol 2.5 on Lambeth Street. Yeah, you can count on us, Gov. A map of London and its surround. Seriously, you should take action. I wonder if I'd gone down there. This idiot wouldn't have, uh... If I, if I had gone down there, this idiot wouldn't have heard where I was going and he might not show up, which I think he might. We're ready, Gov. We're ready, Gov. Don't tell, call me that. Enter the wrong home. Holmes, no. I don't open the door to strangers. I'm a priest and you're not a small boy. You have nothing to fear. Mm. 
Was he a torso opening that door? Madam, please step aside. I'm beginning the ritual. Food for two. More. Oh, Holy Spirit! Save your pans from demons! Fucked it up, I guess. Oh, Holy Spirit! Save your pans from demons and poor musicianship! Father, oh, it's a demon! Yes, please fuck off. Window! Window frame! I uh, must protect you from demonic pain! Pain! Uh... How'd the kid get in there? Bookcase and books! Possessed wooden words! Expel your literary demon! He's still not not done. Wooden door, iron handle, battle the demon, unholy vandal. Father, it's a demon. Could you please fuck off? I'm running out of tricks. Fire and flames, better for crumpets. And foul tooth demons, be gone and bring peace. <laughs> Sister, you saw that the demon has taken shelter in Jeremiah's room. I should go there alone. If the save kid us. can sneak Sister, in, so can wait you. Wait for me outside. This fight will be a fierce one. God help us. I'll do what you say. Eating your sausage now. Food for two, doesn't comment on it. As usual, Holmes refuses to do anything but. Ah, he has a flat cap. Cle clearly a scoundrel. How'd the kid get in here? One of the solenoids for creating a bomb. Oh, yeah, you order. This is probably Janet, Jeremiah's sister. A schematic for a homemade bomb. This is evidence enough to put Jeremiah behind bars. What's in the bin? It looks as though this letter was torn up in rage. I should reassemble the fragments to read what was written. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, maybe. Aha. No. Note put together a It appears that Jeremiah received a threatening letter from somebody known as the Dart. <laughs> hey Jemima, I just like to remind you that the world can be a cruel and unforgiving place. Especially for those who don't keep their promises and finish what they started. It would be pretty rotten if someone you loved or cared, such as your sister, ended up in the joy house, the Dart. 
Dun, dun, dun. The Dart. He was at the center of a notorious case from 1888. Yeah. It's over. The demon is defeated. Oh, thank you. Bless you, Father. Now, pray for Jeremiah's soul and give thanks, sister. Goodbye. Lord be praised. Goodbye. Do, 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 do. Jeremiah is the one who saw in the tavern and the per uh, same man who made the attempt on Homer's life. Probably would, yeah. Well, I thought he was just a torso, but he wasn't. Back to Baking Street. Time for pastry. Rub your belly, kid. It. I may pick the solution at the end if there is one that gets wild killed, even if it's obviously wrong. I may do that. I'm very tempted currently. Called the famous white, uh, Wal Walworth gang leader Percy the Dart Fleming. Walworth gang were involved in criminal activities, including uh, extortion and the list of several brothels, famous, uh, most famous of which being London's White Swan. The police raid has created significant financial difficulty for the gang, and the judges found the Dart guilty and sentenced him to seven years in prison. Here it is. No, he needs to die. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Seriously, you should take acting lessons. Yeah, but he will not. He will not get to anyone else after that on account of being fucking dead. Suffered financial problems after his arrest. The family of the Dart strong motor kills you like Holmes. He wants revenge, his long prison spell, and financial bullshit. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Oh, I need corpses I can look at. I always enjoy that. Uh, the morgue is open. What about evidence room? Oh, score. Nothing for me, though. Any dead dudes? Prepare the slab. What? This dude is still here. Or someone with the same shoes. Damn it, Holmes Snoop. I think the Holmes talent is basically just knowing what is is his background ass and what isn't. Mr. Holmes. Who is that? I have a sneaky suspicion we're gonna be talking to him. Grey haired twait. 
Wait, he's wearing the boots, aren't he? Isn't he? Is that you, Wild? I fucking hope so. A hose for. Oh. Sorting the lamp. Oh, yeah, we're still disguised. Fuck. Mr. Holmes, you're still alive. I can tell that that displeases you. Oh, a faulty deduction for once. Hmm? Hmm. I was thinking suspicion we can do something here. <laughs> I think he's an idiot, but I want to fuck him. him to uh, do both or just one of them this is bomb maker I think isn't it and that's uh, the guy he reported to the boss so I think both Lestrade I have two suspects in our case Jack Cole and Percy Fleming can you apprehend them all right mr. Holmes I'll give the order to the constables no, inspector not... damn it both Dolores suspects apprehended there you are they're all yours no need to thank me. Let's have a look again then. Percy is the dart, I think. He was in jail. And the other guy is the boss of the dude. Dart and hammer. The cock and pillock. The hammer. Personalized thuggery. How novel. He should have set the hammer on top of it so he would punch that into people's heads. That would have been better. Expensive cigarettes. A spintria. Used in the brothels of ancient Rome. Hmm. Oh, a Caesar cipher. Probably. It looks like encrypted records. Well, that's rather tasteless. <laughs> it's gonna be a simple Caesar cipher, isn't it, fucking Holmes? God damn it. But I have to go back there to do it. Times. Yeah. Hmm, the text is encrypted. If it's Caesar's shift code, it might be easily deciphered. Yes.
Elementary. Mm. It's a notebook filled with debts. And Jeremiah's name is on the list. Why do you need to go home for that, Holmes? Get into the cab, quickly! Oh, for fuck's sake, I was gonna interrogate those dudes. I still look like an idiot. Follow that cab. Oh boy, cab chase. I believe I have not. I'm now not able to interrogate those dudes unless they I kept them. find a way to get inside. Damn it, priest Holmes. No, the game will let not let him die. See my home's vision stops working when I stand ass. Oh, X-ray home's vision, I see. Can I stealth kill him? Go the other way. Doesn't reach very far. Oh, for fuck's sake. All the way back. Fucking shit. Snore. So I have to sit here and look at the patrol routes first. Ugh. Can't move fast either. It's usually space to leave cover and all that shit, but of course he would refuse today. We'd go back and hide in the tiny alcove there first, I guess. You had some sort of speed, Holmes. Perhaps something you could snort. Assuming the direct way is not the way. Stuck in a wall. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's gonna take a long time for him to finish that. We missed our chance, I think, though. Launch Sherlock talent, it is indeed. Mm. 
my head glistens in the sun, in the moonlight. Why are you so abhorrently slow? Since this guy's patrolling here, I'm assuming this is where I need to go and not actually just directly to the gate. No, you didn't. I heard something. I heard something. Ugh. I heard something. He's so slow and he snags on everything as well. Something moved. I'm amnesiaing. I heard something. I heard. St <sighs> All the way back. Oh shit! Oh, I misclicked. If you knew how he controlled Bloodman. It's shut tight. Claw marks, it's the hound of the basket bill or whatever. Hey, oh no. There was a fight here. Good Orson unulous. attempted to resist, but someone or something convinced him otherwise. Obviously dragged out by Satan. Oh man, why am I a fucking priest? I had that stupid disguise for most of the ass game before as well. Can I just travel, I wonder? Let me get the fuck up. Hold on. Assuming I just climbed this, I guess not. Man is simply not fit for purpose. Hmm. No. Key in there, perhaps. Why would there be, though? Oh. Oh. No more fucking sneaking now. More sneaking. Can I just kill everyone, including him? Los Nomos leaves him away. This is one of those sections where I can't go into... I can't go into first person and actually control Ruby, him properly. Amethyst and Emerald. 
all fake. Oh, my cousin's out fighting bobbies and stealing antiques, and what do I get? Guard Something moves. Who knows? Once again, I have no idea where to actually go, so I'm just gonna assume it's the most contrived way possible. Okay, I need to get in behind him. It's too late now, though. Can you see anything from the side here? Guess not. I'll sit here so I'm ready for more Holmes action. You don't navigate it, though. You just go the most awkward way possible. And then that's the solution. I thought that was a lobotomite. It's wearing some weird shit. Oh, we're gonna climb up there, I see. For fuck's sake. Oh, dear God. Straight across then. Hopefully this guy doesn't have very far vision. The sound of a gong will attract the guards. I need to be careful. Boys, check out that sound. There's someone there. Why are you doing that? Hey! But what? <laughs> no! <clears throat> we need to get out of here. Fuck's sake. He might just have easily have stabbed us instead. He's that dumb. Lestrade, I'm glad you're here. What's happened, Mr. Holmes? We've come from the abandoned St. Patrick's Abbey. I uncovered a gang of armed bandits there who did their best to kill me. Again? I'll send our best team to arrest them. Well, I doubt that you'll find anyone left, but if you hurry up, you might just find the spoils left over from their burglaries. I see. And I'd be very grateful if you could keep an eye on Mr. Wilde here. But Holmes! Tell him he stabbed the cunt. Wilde, please try to remember. Yeah, the slightest detail, etc. Well, apart from the smell of those bandits who kidnapped me, yeah, nothing special. And this Jeremiah was spending his time complaining about working for the fart. I think you mean the dog. Yeah, whatever. Jeremiah said that they should all wait till the fart was released. Uh, it makes no sense, right? Hmm. Mm. 
Can we still question those dudes? Yes, we can. Oh, thank fuck for that. Yeah, you be the fart. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. I hate him. Do the other stuff first, but I'm definitely gonna condemn him. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. So, Jack the Hammer Cole, we meet again. Uh, I don't care. Why am I here? Don't pretend that you don't know. You're a suspect in the case of an attempt made on my life. Rubbish. Just like the old days, eh? Arresting me on suspicion. You've got nothing. Oh, no. How about the revenge for the trouble that I brought to your gang? And also your brother. Don't you dare mention my brother. Brother's dead, by the way. Or was he? Was that the dart? I don't know. So he either stole the mason ring because he thought it fit his persona or or he has a he has a mason, mason thing ring well it is a mason ring but whether or not he stole it or what see i mean it is a mason ring regardless of whether or not he stole it but does picking this means that we don't understand it's a mason ring The blurred outlines, what do you mean? It doesn't tell me anything until afterwards. The blurred outlines are just stuff I haven't found yet. These ones I have two options with. No, they did say they had ties with ass. I don't think this guy is a mason, and I don't think he'd be allowed to wear it. Fuck it. Shit. <laughs> Leader of the Westminster Gang of Legal Gambling, his valuable possession indicates. Mm -mm -mm. Member of the Masons. No, he is not. For fuck's sake. Ugh. Maybe I'll keep an eye out for that, Lee Shane. Your brother was hurt. It was a regrettable accident. He was in the wrong place Don't at the wrong me, time. Boys. I can hardly be blamed for that. What? You bastard. You're the one responsible for him becoming a cripple. He was innocent. An accident, you say? Oh, I can't wait for the moment that you get whacked proper. Cripple? What? Error demonstrate. <laughs> That's your proof. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. 
crippled. He just had a little weird thing. Do you know what happened at Baker Street that night? I do know, but I had nothing to do with it. And where were you at the time? I was at my tavern all night long. I see. I went to your place and I saw a man with a hair lip arriving to meet with you. It's not the same man. What business do you oh, have with him? Business? He's a regular customer, that's all. And what about the suitcase that your regular customer brought to you? What? What are you talking about? Not cute. Why, the suitcase full of stolen silverware that I found in your secret room? What? How? You search my room. It's not stolen. I often buy a lot of different things and sell them on after. It's all legal. Oh. Oh, I believe you. Okay, we believe him. Call the strong motor kill show. Call someone eventually. His brother severely injured to an army. What's the reason for my arrest? This is an outrage. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Oh man, he looks weird. A good day to you, Percy the Dart Fleming. Huh. It's the flopper. Flopper? You're aware of what happened to Baker Street the other night. I'd say I'm a little luckier than that. Well, I don't give a fig. Then this man is the flopper instead of the Dart now. So you're saying that these show what it is. Well, it does say ha it does say fashion there. Yeah, you're probably correct. That would be extremely stupid. If you're right, Alicia, then this is some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen. I didn't see what this was, though. Was it gang warfare? Or was it the other one? Like okay, I say, gang, we're good. Let's see. Dart is the leader of the Walworth gang, the owner of several brothels. Fleming thinks it's going well. He's an affluent man. Fleming is fashionable and eccentric man who takes care of his himself. He's gone to space bears witnesses, but his patient gun warfare. The Dart spent seven years in Westgate prison. It's only released recently. What were you doing two nights ago around 1 a.m.? I was at the White Swan. The White Swan? The brothel that you own. That can't be counted as an alibi. What do I need an alibi for? Does the name Jeremiah ring any bells with you? It's the first time I've heard it. How about this threatening letter that bears your name? Oh, I remember now. A threat? Come on. Just a reminder for him to pay his debts. It's just a small one, and it's a matter of principle. How do you know him? Ah, oh, he's always coming around begging for odd jobs. But he just talks rubbish. He's off his head. Also dead. Do you have any business with Jack the Hammer Cole? I have. He sometimes provides my business with goals. But he's stupid. A hot-headed clown. Yeah. I'd be worried about him if I were you. Yes? He told me what you did to his brother. And, <laughs> well, let's just say he hates you. And, uh...
These don't fit with anything anymore though. There is more evidence. We shall see then. It says there's things in the B thing. No more evidence. Talk to someone about this. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me about the business that you have with Percy Fleming. <laughs> what? I don't have any business with him. No? Oh. Oh, you supply girls to his institution. He's confessed. Well, he's a liar. Oi. Why did you tell them I supplied girls to your brothel? Fuck sake. Hey? What are you talking about? So that did nothing. Well, we have all the evidence now. It doesn't point towards the idiot, but I'm very tempted to bin him. Well, I'm still not sure what the fuck we're doing. these yeah you can't connect more of these to smart shit I'm not sure what the fuck. Yeah, it tells you which one is correct. But it's still... Uh. I'm kind of tempted to send Wild to jail because I hate him. I have all the clues, yes.
Fuck it. Inside. Okay, men, decide what to do for me. I can't be asked. I'm gonna go turn on the oven for food. Give me a second. I so wanna just been wild, fuck him. Yeah, but I... Uh Fuck him. Mr. Holmes, I'm grateful to you for the opportunity to experience all of these superb sights and smells of criminal life. But I think I've had enough now. What was the reason for Jeremiah Thorne's death? Are you joking? Put your deductive skills to work. Self-defense, my dear Watson. That's quite enough, Wilde. I know that you were guilty of the attempt made on my life and of the murder of Jeremiah Thorne. Holmes! You're my best friend. Why are you doing this? Oh, stop all this. The case is solved. You came to my house for the sole purpose of taking my life. In addition, you hired Jeremiah to do your dirty work. And when you realized his failure, you murdered him to conceal any traces of the crime. There's no chance of you avoiding the gallows. Gallows? <laughs> Absolutely not. That would mess up my hair. <clears throat> Nice. We got that one. Very fine. Case closed. Oh. And that was case three. Uh, we shall be doing four tomorrow, as per usual. Uh, I will, after food, return with some more battle ass. So, uh, yeah, T2L, men, and see you in a bit.